everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a really simple one. So we're still on the Christmas theme. And I'm gonna show you how to make this little snowy tree. This is so easy to do. And you can make it from the, um, the fir tree set. And actually, we only need three stamps out of this set. So we need the topper, the small one right here, and these two right here, the left and the right. Okay, so let me show you how to put that together. It's super easy to do. So we're gonna start out with our watercolor paper. So I've got a portrait size, so you know, lengthwise up. And I'm gonna start out by drawing a pencil line right down the center. I think this is the easiest way to do it. It's kind of a guideline for us, so it kind of tells us where our tree is going. And you can make this as long as you want. You can make this tree as large as you want, but it's really, really easy to uh, make, and it's really easy to put on a card and send out when you want to send that really special card out. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the topper. And that would be this little one. We're gonna ink that with the number 72. So this is the pine green and I'm just gonna stamp it on the top just like that. And actually, I'm going to um, take just the tip of this right and left and just put a little tiny uh, piece on each side. So just like that, super, super easy to do. So now we're gonna come down and do the branches. So we're gonna add snow to here. So think about that. You wanna leave enough space so that you can add the snow in here. So we're kinda gonna do it this way. We're gonna do a long one. So kind of a long one over here. And then on the other side, we're gonna do a short one. So just a little one. It actually, it's more like it's in the center. And then we're gonna make another one kind of off to the side. So we're gonna follow this pattern all the way down. So let's do that one more time. And like I said, you can do this um, as many times as you want to. So another one in the center. And then one kind of off to the side. So just like that, that's about the pattern that we want and the rest is super, super easy. So now it's just a matter of adding our snow in and that's just using the fine tip now of the number 86. So we're gonna use this and we're just gonna put a mound of snow around each of these areas. So everywhere there's a flat surface, that's where you're gonna put the snow. And think of it as you know, small little mounds kind of like this. Don't worry about this. Uh, this does not have to be hard and there's no perfect way to do it. So that looks pretty good to me. We've got our blue in there. And what we wanna do now is add the water. So we didn't add any water to the green yet. We wanna do the snow first. So the way to make something look really white is to put the color around it. So we don't wanna pull this color out of the snow. We don't wanna drag it down. And actually it's probably better to turn your uh, your paper and pull it from the bottom. So what we're gonna do is dip our brush in water and we're just gonna drag this color out. So just kind of like this. So we're pulling that color to the outside. So we wanna kind of surround uh, these little mounds of snow uh, with color. And that's how they're gonna look really white and bright. Super, super easy to do. I love that this tree set is versatile and I love that you can change the seasons like this. And these little snowy trees are just so fun to do. Okay, so let's turn this around and you can see kind of what I mean by that. You can see how we've created this white surface just kind of by filling in around and um, adding that color to the outside. So now let's go ahead and add water now to the, uh, to the foliage. And so we're just gonna dab and don't be afraid to kind of drag this color out. You know, you're not limited to the exact size of the stamp. And if you want to pull some of this color out, you can. And you know, it kind of changes the shape and that's really what we're looking for too. We don't want everything to look uniform. We want it to look three dimensional. So go ahead and do that. If you find some open spots in here and you want to add a little more color, you can do that too. Sometimes you don't know how it's gonna to come together until you start pulling the color out of the lines. And maybe you wanna add, you know, we can just add another little piece. Here's what I mean. So let's just say we wanna add another little piece of foliage in here, maybe uh, over here. And so we can do that later and just add another uh, little piece of snow on it. So just like that, let's do the same on the other side. And you know, the thing about the stamp is that you can ink the parts that you want. So if you want just a little area, you could just ink part of it. That's why it only takes a couple of stamps to do these projects. 
So just like that. So just think about the snow as kind of a little mound sitting on a shelf. That's kind of the easiest way to do it. And now pull that color up. And then add the water to the foliage. So just so easy to do. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know I say that all the time, but it really doesn't. And by the time you're finished, it's just so cute. Um, it doesn't look like it's stamped at all. It looks like a little painting. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one more. It looks like I've got a little empty spot in here, so I think I'm gonna add one more little foliage. And maybe just in here, just like that. And let's put a little more snow on it. That looks good. And we'll drag some of this color out. Perfect. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add uh, some of the tree trunk in. So just follow your pencil line and just add a few little areas where you would see that tree trunk. Not the, not the whole thing, but just a few little places where you could see it in between. That will also make it look a little more three-dimensional. So let's add something to the bottom now. And I'm gonna put a little more of my African violet on my palette and just take a little bit of this and just put uh, this little tree in the snow. You don't have to do a lot. And as soon as that's dry, we can take those pencil lines out. Okay, so now let's go on to the next step and that's to add our little ornaments in here. You can do as much of this also as you want to. So I'm using the fine tip of two colors. So this is the number 101 Tropical and this is the number 20 Magenta. So I'm using two colors, but you can use however many you want. And I'm just making some little circles. I'll leave a little highlight on there if you can. Uh, sometimes it just gets lost, but we can also put that back in. If you can leave that little highlight, it's going to make uh, these little things look way more three-dimensional. And just kind of wherever. You know, and if they're not if they're not perfect and they don't all look exactly the same, that's okay too. Don't stress over stuff like that. And just kind of put them wherever. Okay, so let's go on to the next color, and that is the magenta. Love this color. And I'm just gonna kind of put in, you can see I'm kind of keeping these in the in the lighter sections, because they're gonna show up way better than if I try to put them in the areas where there's so much color. Let's just put another one back in here. Uh, like I said, you can put as many of these on as you want. Sometimes maybe you want to keep it really simple and just do a few. It's okay too. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to just dip my brush now in water and just soften these areas. It really will uh, pop your color out if you do this. Just really saturates that color and deepens it. Um, I think it adds a lot. You can see how that really pops that pink out. Clean your brush off after you've been doing the pink and go back in here with the teal. And just soften that, just soften that up. Okay, that looks good. So uh, as soon as that's dry, we can take this uh, little pencil mark off. Most of it will just be hidden uh, by, the, um, by the stamping, so you don't have to do a lot to the center usually, uh, just maybe where the white areas are. So we've got that done. So now I'm going to take my little um, pigment pigment pen. So this is the signal. This is the Uniball signal. This is a white uh, pigment pen, so a gel pen. And I'm going to put the highlight back on these little ornaments. It's really, really important that they have that. And just a tiny little dot uh, will add a lot. And then if you want to, you can put uh, some snow in here. It doesn't, I know it's hard to see on the video, but um, adding snow to anything Christmassy um, is always fun to do. So is glitter. So you could add glitter to this. That really doesn't show up on the video, or I would be using that in every single one. Uh, but I would for sure add glitter to this little painting. 
And these, you know, these simple little ones, they're so fun to do because you don't have to be stressed out by time. You can just do it in a few minutes. And someone will think that you painted it, which is the fun part, because they would never guess that it was stamped. And it just looks like the simplest, cutest little watercolor painting. And the simple ones sometimes are uh, as fun as the ones that are more elaborate. And maybe you have a really simple style and just want to do simple things. It's okay too. Okay, so I've got all my little snowy dots in and let me hold this up a little bit closer so that you can see. And our little tree is finished. We just need to sign and date. Easily done. and put it on a card uh, or put it in a frame for someone. Uh, what an awesome little Christmas card this would make and something special for someone that you created um, just for them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and I will see you all next week.